Welcome back to Writing Done Right. Well, about five years ago, when I first started this channel, I created this nice video, which is one of my top viewed videos, fixing page numbers in LibreOffice. Well, in the last couple of weeks, I've had a few different people uh, comment there saying they couldn't figure it out following the video. And I wanted to find out, did things change in this or is it just not clear? So I watched the video today and while it is still a uh, pretty clear and pretty good video, I wanted to go ahead and update that video, simplify it a little bit, show you each one of the steps. And what I end up doing is I kind of undid some of the work in this particular document. So Basically, we're going to start with almost nothing and we're going to show you how to reset page numbers and add page numbers at the same time, just so that you can see how to accomplish our task. So just to show you, I added uh, just for fun because I really wanted to get a good pay, a good page count with Roman numeral characters. So I went ahead and just add some lorem ipsum text in here as a forward, just to add a few pages of junk text. So it's all Latin stuff. If you're familiar with web design or uh, layout, content layout, that's just sample text to see how things look like with a bunch of text in it. And then we have a table of contents here and you'll see our table of contents. Uh, let me just update the index, make sure it's still correct. All right. So here's our table of contents and what it looks like. And then we move on down into an introduction. There's no page numbers on that. And then we have our chapter titles here. And then our pages there are getting reset. So what we're going to do at the end of this video is I'm going to show you how to set your page number breaks just so that we can reset the page numbers when we need to. For example, the uh, on that table of contents there, let me go back to the table of contents. Our table of contents, really our introduction should start on page one is what I want. And then everything before this is going to have Roman numerals, although we'll probably only have the Roman numeral page numbers on a few different pages. So that's what we're going to have at the end of this. Then you'll be able to see the Roman numerals on these pages with our lorem ipsum text. And let's see, I will probably not include the Roman numerals on the acknowledgments and dedication page and certainly not on the copyright page and on the title page, as that's uh, how we basically do this. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have a, uh, a section for Roman numerals. So let's go on up to our styles. So Alt-2 gives you your styles, and we want to go to Page Styles. Now we're going to base this on the default page style, so if I do this and I, uh, I hit new and now what I want to do is I need to set our page styles to be what they should be. So the width of this should be five by 0.5, uh, height is 8.5. Now that is just because the trim of this book is five by five by 8.5. It really doesn't matter what that is. I'm just keeping it consistent left margins. I think we'll do 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Top 0.44. Oh, we actually have something new here. We actually have a gutter. That's an interesting new thing. I just saw this for the very first time. This must be a new thing in the latest version of LibreOffice. So they're actually giving us a gutter margin there. I'm going to leave that at zero for now, just uh, because uh, <laughs> I'm going to. All right. Um, and uh, typically, just to explain it as a side, since I just mentioned it here, a gutter margin is what's in the binding of the book. Usually you would adjust for this by having the left and the right pages uh, offset by the gutter margin difference. I've talked about that in layouts of books. I'm not going to mention that much more here because it's not applicable to page numbers. Now, as I look at that, let's go ahead and give this a, uh, we'll just call it Roman for that. And next style, we'll just do Roman. And this means that every Roman page, the following page will also be Roman as well. And then you'll see the page numbers here. I'm going to change your page numbers down and I'm going to look in the list and see if I can find Roman numerals. We'll do lowercase Roman numerals. If you wanted uppercase or 
letters or anything else. You can select the appropriate from the particular list there. And then page layouts left and right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and have a look at uh, the style on, for example, my left page or my right page. I just want to see if that gutter margin is still in there. So it is. Look at this. But you'll see here that I have my left and my right margins are different. And then if I look at the right page, you'll also see those are inverted. So we're adjusting for it. So that gutter margin is something they must have just added in and I had missed it in the release notes. <laughs> okay. Um, otherwise, we would have talked about that. We uh, Hey, new video for next week. We're going to talk about how to use that and uh, adjusting for it. So there is, uh, let's get back to our page numbers. So we got our, our Roman page numbers. So now if I come over here, oh, there's one more thing we want to do inside this style. Uh, we need to find the header and footer. We'll turn the footer on and we can set it as either the same content. We can do same content on left and right pages. So we're going to do this. Uh, and then over here is our left or right or spacing. Everything there looks good. All right. So now anytime we set a page to have Roman, for example, this one here, if I double click this, now you'll see that this guy here has a footer here. So now I'll just go ahead and enter your footer. Let's center the text and we will insert our page numbers. So there we have it. So now you'll see that the page numbers there are Roman numerals at the bottom. Okay. Now if I go down and I update my table of contents, update index, now what you'll see is dedication is page three, acknowledgments page four, forward uh, uh, is your five, your contents is your 12 Roman, and then the introduction, you'll see the page numbers there. All right, so there's a couple things that we're gonna wanna fix in this for better professional layout. The first is these pages here, we will probably want to have your, uh, have your Roman uh, numerals listed in the table of contents but I don't want them on the page. So we'll talk about how we get that taken care of. What we'll probably end up doing is go into our default style. Since our default style doesn't actually have, uh, default style doesn't actually have any uh, anything that will show up in the table of contents, we can just adjust this by editing the style. And we need to head on over to here and change our page numbers here to match what was in our Roman. Okay, so let's move back down to our table of contents, update our index, and now you'll see that we have the dedication. Everything here is correct. The only one that's not quite right that is, look at that, the scripture index. So I have a specific page for that. Let's go ahead and get that fixed since we're uh, fixing things right this moment. So let's go down to scripture index, and let's see what page is that. So the scripture index is kind of set as a default page style. Okay, looks like we may, might need to deal with that. So let's go ahead and have a look at the style here. And we're just going to duplicate everything here in a new page layout. We're going to call this uh, new style. We're going to call this scripture. Next style is going to be the same page area. Let's do set, reset our width and our height. 0.5, 0.4, 0.45, 0 0.56. And now we need to set our page numbers back. And header and footer should be turned off and hit OK. All right. Oh, and now on this. Oop, hold on. My apologies. I jumped ahead of myself there. Uh, clicking on this page, we're going to double click scripture. So then this one should also be scripture and that should fix everything there. So let's go back to our table of contents, update index. Now you'll see that everything before the introduction is Roman numerals. And starting here, everything here is regular page numbers. So we got that all fixed. But remember, our introduction should actually be page number one with Roman numerals up before that. Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and fix that. 
And where is that introduction at? That is after the table of contents. Okay. So what we're going to do now is let's go ahead and there is going to be one more change that we will need to do. And we'll point that out when we see it. Um, because the introduction should also not be on, um, uh, introduction should also not be on your, um, uh, Roman numerals as well. So what we're going to do now is we need to reset our page numbers, starting with our introduction, actually. So let's go ahead and start with that. So here's our table of contents. We can keep that there. Of course, our table of contents, we're going to manually edit that out. We don't need a page number and where that is. So starting here with the introduction, this is what we're going to do. We want to start with the first line of text here. And then what we're going to do is insert and then more breaks. And then we're going to do a manual break. Now we do a manual break. We need to start with the page style. Now this is where we're going to run into a little bit of problem because remember that the default page style is still set to Roman numerals. We could also use the scripture style since that's not. If we wanted to just do this quickly, I'm just going to use the scripture style. If you want to do it quote unquote more professionally, you create another one based on our chapter or excuse me, based on our default page style here. And then you set those also to have the regular numbers. Effectively, it's the exact same thing as the scripture page. So I'm going to do that. And then now what we need to do is change our page number. We restart this wherever we want. Do you want that zero? Do you want that starting in 10? We're going to restart it to number one. Okay, now what you'll notice though is that that also added an extra page up here. So we're going to need to go ahead and deal with that. And I'll show you what that did here in a second. So here's this. Here's our contents. This is that blank page. And this is the page break we just added. So we're just going to go ahead and take this page break out. So click on this and delete page break. So now when we update our table of contents, you'll see that this one's page three. This should be page four, page five. Updating our table of contents. Boom. Now you'll see that our introduction is now page one. Amusing Journey, which is the first chapter, is page three. Everything before it is Roman numerals. Everything after it is uh, the regular uh, Latin uh, numerals. So this is page one, page two, page three, no text, page four, no text. Now starting on the forward, now that we see here on our forward, now we have Roman numerals indicating what those are going to look like. Table of contents is going to restart. Of course, it's a Roman numeral, but again, we don't need the table of contents in here. Whoop, I, I do need to edit my table of contents in order to um, delete it. Let's do edit index, and we need to uncheck protect against manual changes. Click OK. And now... I can delete that. So now we have everything up here as Roman numerals, including our, our lengthy forward. But now our introduction is page one, page two. This is page three, page four. Now, the only other thing I noted here is that the table of contents, we do not want to have a Roman numeral on that. So let's have a look at what that page type is. So that's listed as a Roman type. Let's just go ahead and make it a scripture type instead. That will not change anything else in the layout. Let's go ahead and just verify that. Right click. So what I should have done is instead of writing, renaming that one scripture, I should have just said, um, yeah, like Latin numeral or something like that. There's that. The only thing it'll do is it'll add that back in. Let's go ahead and put this out. Delete. Okay, why did change my forward back to that. Oh, I know why. I know why. Okay. So, uh, you I ran into that case where you'll see that it changed the forward here back down to scripture. That's because we were lacking a page break from the forward into the table of contents. So let me show you how to fix that.
Okay, so let's reset that to Roman. Now that's Roman, 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 Roman. Now what you'll see is right here, edit page break. And when we edit the page break, we're going to, with page style, use that. Push OK. That should keep us our Roman numerals. Update index. There we go. That's what we want. And now we just want to manually change that. There you go. So everything is up here is Roman numerals. Introduction starts at page number one. Everything is Latin numerals down to the bottom. Page numbers are correct on each one of those pages. And going back up to the forward, here is Roman numerals, and that is good. And the other thing that's kind of driving me a little crazy on this one is let's go into our character, and we should have a listing in here for our footer text. Or uh, let's see. Now it looks like it looks like I just created a new one. Let's just go ahead and edit the style for that. And we just need to change our font to ooh, is this alpha, I think? I think that is alpha echo. Hit apply. And we want to change it down to a 10 point font. Okay, so that now that kind of matches what the other font sizes look like. That way it uh, matches in properly with uh, with the footers for the other pages. Let me show you that. Okay, so we wanted these all to be the same font, the same size all throughout. So that's all we just did. We just changed those. Now, the other thing you notice here inside this, this isn't related to the page numbers, but it's something that was added in here when we were messing around. You'll see this blank spot in here. That is, there is a, a header tag that's empty somewhere. So that's right here under this table of contents. So just hit backspace. That should go away. And there it goes. So that just meant that there was something with a header tag that was just blank. It was basically from this when we added that extra page break here. It copied that heading one style over onto the bottom of the page where the break was. So we just needed to delete that. Okay, so there we have it. We have our table of contents is correctly updated. We've shown you how to adjust the adjust that and manually make that change. Just uh, left click on the table of contents, hit the edit index and uncheck the protect against manual changes. I usually do that just so I can fix every, you know, the small tweaks here and there. We've fixed the Roman numerals up until the introduction. We've showed you how to create the separate styles. We've showed you that the best way to change those page breaks is with a manual break and then change the page number. Of course, you do have to set a title, a page style you're going to. So we talked about, we did the default page style, which we changed to be Roman numeral characters. And we did a new one, which should, we should have just called that Latin instead of Roman. So that way we have a generic one, we have a Roman numerals, and we have a, um, uh, a Latin numerals. So we can adjust them, and that's mostly to fix the pages within the table of contents. Got to change that page number, reset that. And then you can reset the page number after every section. So hopefully that helps, uh, clarifies things, um, brings it up to date with a modern LibreOffice. So let me know your thoughts of that, and I hope that this video has helped you to get your writing done right.